This video is here to help you when finding lines of symmetry. Let's take a look at some examples. Take a look at these different shapes. Is there anything you notice about them? If we were to put a line down the middle of each of these shapes, you can see they look the same on both sides of the line. That's because all these shapes are symmetrical. The lines of symmetry divide a shape into two identical halves. The two halves of the shape are mirror images of each other. We show this line of symmetry with a dashed line. Symmetrical shapes are often found in nature, such as in the petals of a flower or the wings of a butterfly. They can also be found in man-made objects, such as in the design of buildings or furniture. But how can we spot lines of symmetry in shapes, especially when the line of symmetry may not be vertical or horizontal? Let's start by looking at how we might find a line of symmetry using a practical method. Look at this shape. What is it called? That's right, it's an isosceles triangle, as it has two equal sides and two equal angles. How could we test if it's symmetrical? Well, if we draw the shape on a piece of paper, we can fold it in half to test if the shape is symmetrical. If the two halves of the shape match perfectly, then the crease that we have folded along is a line of symmetry. Does our shape have any more lines of symmetry? As you can see that when we try to fold the shape in different ways, the two parts are not identical halves, so it does not have more than one line of symmetry. What do you think will happen when we try the same thing with this equilateral triangle? When we fold this equilateral triangle into equal halves, you can see that we can fold the shape in half along one line, two lines, three lines, and get identical halves each time. So the equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. But what if we can't cut the shape out and test for lines of symmetry by folding? How else can we identify lines of symmetry? Well, another way we can identify lines of symmetry is to use a mirror. Look at this shape. We can use a mirror to find any lines of symmetry by holding the mirror up to the shape and seeing if the reflection is a mirror image of the original shape. When we hold a mirror up to the rectangle vertically, so the mirror divides the rectangle in half, you can see that the reflection of the square is a mirror of the original rectangle. If the reflection is a mirror image, then the line of symmetry is the line that the mirror is placed on. We can show this line of symmetry by drawing a vertical mirror line on the shape. Does this rectangle have any more lines of symmetry? Well, when we hold a mirror up to the rectangle horizontally, so you can see that the mirror divides the rectangle in half this way, you can see that the reflection of the rectangle is a mirror image of the original rectangle. We can show this line of symmetry by drawing a horizontal mirror line on the shape, like this. Does the rectangle have any more lines of symmetry? Well, if we hold the mirror up to the rectangle diagonally, we can see that the two halves are not identical, so the rectangle does not have any diagonal lines of symmetry. Therefore, the rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Can you think of any 2D shapes that have horizontal, vertical and diagonal lines of symmetry? If we hold the mirror up to a square, the mirror divides the square into identical halves when we hold the mirror vertically, horizontally and diagonally. One line of symmetry divides the square in half vertically. One line of symmetry divides the square in half horizontally. And two lines of symmetry divide the square in half diagonally. Therefore, the square has four lines of symmetry. Thinking about what we have just learned about lines of symmetry, I'd like you to have a think about this statement. The number of lines of symmetry a shape has is related to the number of sides it has. Joseph says about this statement, I agree with the statement as the square has four sides and it also has four lines of symmetry. Abby says, I disagree as the rectangle has four sides but only has two lines of symmetry. What do you think? Who do you agree with? Let's explore the statement by comparing two shapes. Here is an irregular pentagon. It has five sides. At least one side or angle is different from the others, so it is irregular. This particular irregular pentagon has zero lines of symmetry. The number of lines of symmetry this irregular shape has does not match the number of sides it has. Here's a regular pentagon. All of its five sides and angles are equal. When we draw in the lines of symmetry, we can show that it has five lines of symmetry. 
The number of lines of symmetry of this regular shape does match the number of sides it has. Look at these regular 2D shapes. How many lines of symmetry does each shape have? The regular hexagon has six equal sides and six lines of symmetry. The equilateral triangle has three equal sides and three lines of symmetry. And the regular octagon has eight equal sides and eight lines of symmetry. Let's look back at the statement that Joseph and Abby were discussing again. One important word was missing here. The number of lines of symmetry a shape has is related to the number of sides it has. What word is needed here so that the statement is true? That's right, we need the word regular. The number of lines of symmetry a regular shape has is related to the number of sides it has. Therefore, the number of lines of symmetry a regular shape has is the same as the number of sides it has. Sometimes lines of symmetry may be tricky to spot in a shape as the shape itself is drawn in an unusual way. Take a look at this triangle. Can you see any lines of symmetry? Did you recognize it's the triangle from earlier in this video? That's right, it's the same isosceles triangle that we saw earlier. The only difference is that I have rotated it. When we rotate it like this, so it's in the same position as when we saw it earlier, we can more easily see that it has a vertical line of symmetry here. Top tip, sometimes you may need to rotate shapes when you are looking to find lines of symmetry so that the lines of symmetry are easier to find. Take a look at these different shapes. See if you can find the lines of symmetry in each shape. Here are the answers. Let's take a look at each shape. We'll rotate each shape so that you can find the lines of symmetry. This shape is a regular heptagon, which means it has seven equal sides, so we know it has seven lines of symmetry. Now it's time for our final challenge question. Look at these pictures of shapes with the pattern drawn on. Gia draws one line of symmetry on each picture. Has Gia drawn her line of symmetry correctly? Here is the answer. Although Gia's lines of symmetry appear to be in the correct place, if we only focus on the shape and take away the pattern, it's important to remember that although the shape may be symmetrical, if the pattern that is drawn on the shape isn't symmetrical, then the whole picture is not symmetrical, and Gia's lines of symmetry are not correct, as each side of the line of symmetry is not identical. I hope that this video has helped you to identify more lines of symmetry. If you're looking for any more maths videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.